This is my steampunk survival base and as you can see there are flying things all over the place and people have been asking me to help them with that including building airships. I am Vigoman and today I'm bringing you a video explaining how I build smaller airships in my base. I would not want this to be a block by block tutorial, I'd rather want it to be more of a guide on how you can build your own kind of airship. If you use this guide here and build your own airship with your own design, your own features and own ideas, I would love to see them on my Twitter. So please feel free to tag me and upload your pictures there. I would love to see them. To begin with, we got to do the blimp. That is what's going to hold up our airship and it's also where you have the possibility to be the most creative because um, you can do your own kind of patterns and stuff like that. So you're starting off with three blocks like this and then you go up with two blocks, then two blocks, and two blocks, like so. Do the same on this side, go up two blocks, like that, and then you do the same here, but then you're going back, so two blocks, and then you go three blocks to match this one, and then two blocks, like that, and you got this nice, like almost like a diamond shape thing right there, and that is the main shape of the blimp. And to finish this off, you're gonna fill up this middle part with wool block, just kind of uh, a layer away. So you do it like this. And you do the same thing on this side to match the back side. And that kind of creates this nice blimp shape. What about the Rastafari blimp? Or a hot rod themed blimp? Or whatever this is. So you have your blimp of choice and we gotta frame this up to make it look super pretty. So what we're doing, we're having... You can use whatever block you want, but I have just a set of spruce items here uh, and basically what we're doing is we're placing full blocks here and then slabs full blocks and slabs like that just do that on all of these sides here and also on the bottom like this whoops and like that so you kind of have a little bit of an idea here uh, you now we got to choose which side is the front of this so here let's say this one is the front we go full block we go slab and then we put this here so that creates a little bit more of a pointy end, uh, but it kind of m makes it curve this way. So what I like to do is just add another trapdoor there, that kind of balance that out, and it looks pretty nice, I think. Uh, on the top here, we add trapdoors. On the bottoms here, we add trapdoors. Uh, in the back here, uh, you can do kind of what you want to be creative, but I like to maybe do, like, say something like this, where you do... Maybe make it look like a, a fin of a fish or something. And maybe you can even add like some, let's see here, some spikes here on the back of it. That could look pretty cool potentially. Um, yeah, something like that. Maybe move that down to here. Just play around with it, you know. Uh, but that, that's a cool design. Uh, something like that you can do. Uh, and then we got to kind of frame this side here as well. So what you're doing here is you're adding trap doors. But since you maybe have done that beautiful pattern there, what you could do is maybe use some of these so some of the patterns shine through. It's all up to you guys. Be creative here. So something like that is pretty cool. Uh, and same goes for here. Um, there we go. And something like that. Then you take a sign, put that there, put that there, and same on this side here. And, and that kind of is the entire framing of the blimp. Now that the blimp part is all done, it's time for us to build where we can sit. And when you're doing this, it's just trying to build it so that it hangs under here and a place to sit down. You don't have to make it functional, but I like to do that just for the fun of it. So what I'm going to do is take some oak fences and just add... A uh, three there, I think, uh, and then we'll take a trap door and place that there, and then add two below here, like that. So we have three kind of ropes hanging down. And uh, then I'm taking a trap door and putting that there, no, a slab, putting that there. And I think right now I'm just gonna bring that back, like so. Um, then we'll add a slab and maybe a stair and a smoker. Something like that. Uh, yeah, that works. And then I like to add a rail in the back here. Just make sure it faces this way so you don't drop off. Put a minecart in there. And then maybe we can do another 
stair like so a full block and then something like this could look pretty cool uh, and then we add some trapdoors on the side here again to kind of connect that up all nice so that is kind of a general shape here it's not perfect right now but but it's a general shape it's something to work with and then what I might do is just add some trapdoors on the side here so kind of to make it look like we have enclosed the building here or the area we sit in and then maybe just add a sign to either side of the smoker there and we can even add another sign there on the stair like so so that is pretty cool and then we add another slab there and maybe something like that yeah that works and then on the bottom here I like to add a little bit of a darker uh, block for the bottom so we can use dark oak uh, slabs and stairs and stuff so let's add that there and maybe a stair and then uh oh yeah we got to fix that and then uh, okay let's do that and yeah let's do full block and then stair in the back here like so that's pretty cool uh, we got to place down the the rail here again and uh, place the minecart on so we got that and then we got the stair in the back there with the signs on it like so so that's a pretty cool shape right there so when you have this kind of shape and uh, ship down below and blimp and everything that you like there are a few details i like to add uh, one of them is using the lantern and you can add that pretty much wherever you want to on this i like to maybe add like a lantern in the front to be like a, a lantern or something and uh, just to light up where we're going we could also add like a, like one in the back here uh, you can be creative with that and then what you can do is also add uh, like a propeller in the back here uh, and that is that can be pretty tricky there are a few ways you can do this uh, one of them is maybe use a barrel put that there and then uh, add trapdoors to the side of it and then we gotta add some trapdoors on the side here as well and same for this side then you have like a little bit of a propeller there uh, so you can kind of play around with this designs here you can add uh, lanterns maybe you can add a lantern in the back here what if we do bring that one out and then add another lantern here that could look pretty cool as well so you can just kind of play with this design right here that's how simple it is guys i hope this was informative i hope you guys enjoyed it if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been vigo man and i'm out